And we're back with a new edition of Today's Five Things. Summer travels in full swing with more than 50 million Americans expected to hit the road and travel this holiday weekend. And ahead of Independence Day, we brought in some pros here to share five things they would never do when traveling based on their areas of expertise. We've got a hotel manager, a lifeguard, and a dermatologist. Let's, talk, let's start with Chintin Dadich. He's the general manager of Conrad New York Downtown. He's been in the hotel industry for 25 years. It's nice to have a pro. Good to see you, uh, Chintin. So this is an interesting one. We're starting this. Never book a room last minute. I thought that's how you swept in and got the deal. Absolutely not, Hoda. So first off, thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, but it's a myth. Uh, you know, we're a supply and demand uh, organization, just yeah. like any other business. Uh, so the more demand, the, you know, the more uh, rates are going to be higher. So I always suggest people, please book in advance, secure that reservation early uh, in your travel uh, you know, planning. Uh, uh -huh. Don't wait for the last minute. Don't wait for that. No. What if you want, real quick, what if you want an upgrade? Can you just go up to the desk and say, give me an upgrade? Absolutely. And do they say yes sometimes? 100%. If the hotel rooms have an upgrade available, sometimes there might be a small charge attached with it. A lot of times, they'll just give it to they'll you. They'll just give it to you. Exactly. Okay. So Here's another asking one. never hurts. Here's one. Never forget to share that you're actually having a special occasion. It's a birthday, it's an anniversary. Very, very important. It could be as simple as you're dropping off your child to college, yeah. picking them up, it's a reunion, it's your spouse's uh, you know, special birthday. Why tell, why tell them on that kind of stuff? So as a hotel industry, and especially in full service luxury hotels, we want to go above and beyond and make a memorable stay for our guests. Yeah. And these little nuggets, uh, uh, what we call nuggets of uh, you know, information, help us create some surprise and delight for our guests. So we use them to our advantage to make sure that the guests leave happy. Surprise and delight. I like it. Okay, you say never stay silent when it comes to room needs. What does that mean? So, you know, you might be traveling with your sibling. Yeah. You might be traveling with your parent yeah. or just meeting up for a girls weekend. If you're going to need, uh, you know, a room with two beds yeah. versus a king bed sure, or you need a rollaway bed. Yeah. Pack secure that early. Going back to the tip, book early, secure that early. Like at my hotel, if you want connecting rooms guaranteed at time of reservation, you could do you that. You got it. Yeah. A okay. couple of more. Never forget to ask for a care packet. What's a care packet? So, you know, uh, we all, uh, we've all done the mistake of overpacking. Yeah. But forgetting toiletries, you know, just simple things yep. like toothbrush and stuff like that. Uh, hotels mostly will have that available for you. No need to run out and stress out about getting uh, the you know, to a store. Exactly. Okay. Ask us, we'll do it for you. Lastly, never ever ignore the bellman. Very, very important and probably closest to my heart. Speak to the bell person, speak to the door person, the guest relations team. These are experts. They'll tell you all the secrets about the neighborhood. Yeah. They'll try and get you in all those hard-to-get restaurants, yeah. bars, or, or uh, you know, shows. But they're really the experts in the hotel. So yeah. never lose that opportunity. And last, be kind. Yes. Be kind to the hotel yes. teams. Uh, you're traveling. I know you're stressed out. But trust me, that kindness goes a long way. And the team members will reciprocate. They'll do everything for you. Good job. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Chintan. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Craig, over to you. All right. Great tips there. I'm here with Wyatt Werneth. Wyatt has nearly three decades of experience as a lifeguard. He's also a spokesperson for the American Lifeguard Association. And Wyatt has five tips on what he would never do when swimming this summer. So let's start with number one here. Never swim without a lifeguard on site. And we're talking beach and pool, right? Absolutely. That's the number one rule. Always swim in front of a lifeguard. Your chances of drowning in front of a lifeguard are 1 in 18 million. 1 in 18 million. And does it matter how many people you have swimming in terms of how many lifeguards you need? Well, the more people, the more lifeguards you need, absolutely. Okay. Uh, never wear a blue swimsuit, you say. Is that because it makes a lifeguard potentially, it makes it harder for them to spot you in the water? Well, it's camouflage. You'd blend into the environment and be hard for lifeguards to see you. When we have a missing person... Having the identified bathing suit in a bright color makes it a lot easier. You say never dive head first. That's right. Uh, you want to know the, the bottom topography, the same in a pool. You don't ever want to dive in. But when you're at a lake or open water areas, there could be all kinds of rocks or coral or stumps. You always want to investigate the water, go feet first. And that's even if you think you know the depth. Exactly, especially out, you know, weather, things change. So it could be something drifted up that you don't know about. All right, this is another good one here. You say never, ever host a pool party without a lifeguard. And that's correct. I understand you're going to have a party this 4th of July, so I Correct. recommend have a lifeguard. If right. not, got at one. least assign a water watcher. 
Well, explain that, water watcher. Someone in the group that's designated to pay attention to what's going on, no distractions, and hopefully no CPR and have some lifeguard skills. Okay, and last but not least, never assume that the lifeguard is also a sitter. Explain that one. Well, too many times people come to the beach, they drop their kids off, they don't pay attention, and they expect the lifeguards to do that. That is our job, but however, it goes back to the home and you need to pay attention to your children. All right, five great tips. Thanks for the advice there, Wyatt. Chanel, over to you. All right, good advice. We have dermatologist Dr. Michelle Henry here with over 10 years of experience. She's also the CEO and founder of Skin and Aesthetic Surgery of Manhattan, and she has five things she'd never do before heading outside this summer. Good morning to you, Dr. Good Michelle. Morning. Thank you. All right, so the first one you say, never use sunscreen less than SPF 30. I've seen 15. Yes, S anything less than SPF 30 is a waste of money. Really? So we grade sunscreens based on the thickness of application, and most of us are Aren't applying enough. Yeah. So we're already inadequate. So less than 30, not okay. All right, done. Check. Never ignore medication labels. Yeah, so many medications can actually sensitize you to the sun. And this includes common medications like acne medications like doxycycline and a really common anti inflammatory ibuprofen. You can get burns, rashes, blisters. So consult your dermatologist really? if you're ever concerned. I mean, how many people are taking ibuprofen? That's a good, a good advice. This next one I'm guilty of it says never walk barefoot. Explain some of the issues that can come from yeah, this. Yeah, so it's really freeing to walk barefoot in the summer months we love it but it comes with risk so I see massive burns from walking on the sidewalks uh -huh. on hot pavement fungal infections bacterial infections warts sunburn so right. wear shoes wear your sunscreens wear traction if you're at the pool so you don't slip mm -hmm. really important all right shoes it is um, next one you say never forget to I'm guilty of this one too. <laughs> Rinse off after the, the pool. You can't just kind of, I don't know, live your no, life. Get out no. and live your life. No? You know, chlorine is a great disinfectant. It's also great at drying your skin, causing inflammation, and giving you brittle hair. Mm -hmm. So always rinse off. And before you go in, put on a little coconut oil. It's going to protect you from bonding to that chlorine. So coconut oil in the hair and the skin, perfect. Does it get in the, the pool water? If just a little bit. Just a little just bit. A little. All right, last but not least, you say this is important. Never ignore skin growths. Yes, so excess sun can cause new freckles, new moles, new growths. There are lots of things online that you can remove it at home. Do not do it. You could delay the diagnosis of a skin cancer. So we're looking for moles that are asymmetric, with an uneven border, multiple colors, growing in di diameter. Check with the dermatologist. Don't do it at home. It can ultimately save your life. Dr. Henry, <laughs> thank you to you and all of our experts this morning. Al, that's 15 pieces of advice for you this morning. I'm still thinking about that oil slick on the pool. <laughs> but anyway. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.